Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So, I had a whole speech prepared um, about how, you know, this morning, you guys know, or most of you know, that I don't really do the journal covers on camera. Uh, one, because sometimes, depending on what it's going to be, I like for it to be a surprise. But another one is actually making the journal covers, binding, sewing in the signatures, all of that scares me to death. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it gives me some somewhat of anxiety um, doing that part. That's what I'm least comfortable with doing. And so anyway, guys, what I've been doing is I... Um, knew I needed to go ahead and get on the journal covers. I'm off today. So, I knew I needed to get the journal covers done so I could get on to the next step and stop procrastinating. So, I actually turned on my Bluetooth speaker, uh, blared my Pandora and my contemporary Christian music station on there, belting out tunes, got myself all built up, was ripping the fabric, cutting the fabric, whatever, which I'm also not good at. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Um... Yeah, doing that, built my confidence up, come over here, and I going to tell you guys how, you know, listening to my, my music and all really built my confidence up to do this on camera, and then as soon as I hit play, I just realized I've just lost my mind. So, anyway, guys, here goes absolutely nothing. So, we're going to use this Amazon packaging. It is, ex you know, close enough to the right size. Um, it's about nine and a half tall, which is okay, and 12 this way, so when we fold it, we get a six, so it'll be a nine and a half by six. So I figured these would be the, got to do some surgery on that one, would be, uh, and maybe that one, um, the perfect size. Yeah, we're going to glue that down, and I was able to find, um, well, I didn't get enough. I needed one more of these, but that's okay. We'll do... I don't know how many will get done on camera, but we're going to do something. Um, and then I got, of course, just one of these. Uh, and I think I'm going to need another one because I think I got fabric ready for four journals. So, um, let's see. All right, so let me show you. So, this right here is some um, coffee dyed fabric. Pretty grungy that I'm, we're going to use for the inside. So, I got enough of that. And this is going to be one of our journal covers. Oh, hello, crooked. And, oh, there it is. Haha, <laughs> found it. And this is going to be another one. What did I do with the other two? Have I lost my mind? Hold on, guys. 30 second dance party. Yep, left them, left them all laying over here. Maybe I got enough done for five. I can't count. Okay. Anyway. Here we go. There's another coffee dyed for the inside. All of them will have pretty much the same. That grungy coffee dyed. Alright. So. We have this one. And then I picked out this one for another cover. And then we have this one. Which way does it go? This way. We have this one, and we have, uh, which way does it go? I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure out. Probably this way. Yep, probably this way. So there's another one, and then we have the ones with the um, bugs on it, the buggy boos. So that will be another one. So, that is all of our journal covers. Um, that's the fabric that I have picked out. So, I guess we will just pick one and start. Uh, see how far we get. I'm throwing stuff in the floor over there. Um, so, again, some Amazon packaging here. I'm going to just go ahead and shoot a little bit of glue up in there. I think I've already glued some of that down. Yeah. Because that's going to tear a hole in that if we don't. Just glue that down. Okay. So, I've already glued that shut. And I like using this because it's got those little 
white thingies in there. I don't know what you call them, but it gives it some some feel good. It's kind of feels bubbly or something, a little bit squishy, and I like that. So this is going to be the front. All right, Lord Jesus, help us. Here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do first. I'm not a good sewer, so it is going to be some grungy sewing. I might as well just go ahead and do that now. So what I'm going to do is use my Arlene's um, tacky glue. That bottle's nasty. And put a little bit of it on here. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Well, I guess that was good, being that it's not going to come out. Um... But yeah, we're just going to put some of this on here and then spread it around. I got my little silicone brush there. May not get... Okay, let's see. Let's get a needle and see if we can loosen this up some. Um, but yeah, then we'll spread it around and... Um, try to get that tack down some. I'm using the Arlene's glue um, because I'm not sure about this fabric and I feel like the um, Fabri-Tac like seeps through the fabric. I really hope this does it. And then I'll be honest with you, that's why I picked this one because um, although I like it and it's grungy and I do like it, it's my least favorite of what I picked out. So if it does it like turn out right then I think it'll be okay because you know okay so that's all my hands can take of that so I'll just maybe spread this out a little so we don't have those big old gobs and I'm not worried about it being all over it I'm just wanting something yuck I did get out baby wipes. I knew that would happen. Um, just want to get it to stay in place good enough for me to be able to sew around it without it moving everywhere because I'm not a good sewer. And, um, yeah, not a good sewer. So it will definitely, you know, be moving around everywhere and really messed up if I don't at least try to tack it down okay so what we're going to do is pick this up oh, man look I got glue all over the front of it come on Lori get yourself together and don't know why I'm worried about that being right side up and I know I am also going to be wasting some fabric here because I'm not good at cutting a fabric you guys know I can't do anything straight so but yeah that's a big old piece at the bottom wasted but we could make a ruffle out of that though so not really too awful concerned. Alright, so I guess we got that down enough. I can stop messing with that. Okay. So now we are going to... I guess that's okay right there. Try to get some on this side. Seems to be coming out a little bit better. Or not. Maybe not. Um, yep, get some on this side and then we'll do the same thing. And then maybe we'll go ahead and do this to another one. And 
let this dry just a little bit before I go to putting it through my sewing machine and it shouldn't take it too long to get you know just dry enough so I could just pause you guys and then come back and show you my um, shady sewing <laughs> oh my yeah okay I think that's good enough all right so this I'm gonna do it this way I think Yep, not good guys, not good. Not not good at this at all. And I like all of these, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Yeah, where it's not straight. Wrinkles. Yeah, that's it. Wrinkles. I like all the wrinkles in it. That's why I did not, on purpose, did not um, iron it. Because I could have had. But then one too. Oh, well that looks like that might be alright. Oh, okay. Talk about giving myself heart palpitations. Okay, so I don't want to bend it yet. So that's going to be one. We'll put it there. Okay, breathe, Lori, breathe. Okay, so this one right here, the label was already pulled up. So I went ahead and took it off, and it tore a little hole in this. So that's why I put that tape there. Um, I think I told you guys about that in an earlier video. And then I just decided to put a piece down through there strengthen that spine and now I just want to glue this down right here put glue where I don't need it and then I'll do the same thing right here all that needed okay all right now breathe so this is gonna be my front y'all my heart's just a beating you have no idea okay I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this one yeah we'll go ahead and do this one okay Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hit you guys? I'm so sorry. Okay, here we go. So, let's get a string on it. Some glue on here. Yeah, I would like using this glue a lot more if it would actually come out good I don't know what it is I see other people use it and they just give it a squeeze with one hand and it comes right out and me I try to use it and it doesn't want to come out for nothing so I don't know I'm sure it's operator error think that's gonna be good oh now I'm sweating okay so spread this around I am excited about getting 
started on these um, journals finally maybe this will kickstart me in gear and I think that's you know why I have been procrastinating because this part just gives me such anxiety so pretty guys yep very very pretty love the way that feels it feels bumpy like bubbles okay so it's gonna be okay there and I like those that frayed so I'm gonna do my best to fray it um, I'm probably going to sew it just like middle ways so it's partly over here and partly here. I guess that's how you do it. I have no idea, but that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's done. All right, breathe. i make myself pass out here. there okay I think we'll be okay though all right so now this one go like that nope this looks grungier over here I think so I think we'll go like that up a little bit okay Here we go, guys. Alright. Here we go. Sorry I'm so quiet. Concentrating. Okay. Oh, my eyes itching and watering. Try to get this glue to come down a little bit more too. So yeah, give me the opportunity to scratch my eyeball. Okay. Okay. Should be enough. Oh. Goodness, goodness. Okay. Mush this down a little bit. Okay, come back. Say a prayer. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Okay, which way did we say? We say this way or this way. I think we said this way. Okay. So, like that. Okay, so I got that. 
it. Alright guys. Should we go ahead and do another one or should I stop and sew? Guess maybe we should go ahead and do another one. Well, we're on a roly-poly, huh? Okay, so we'll go ahead and do the other one in the Amazon packaging. Let's go ahead and get this. Glue down there. Sorry about that. That there. Right down through there. Okay. Alright. So I guess I'll make this the front since I've already folded that. Alright. So let's do this one. It's going to go this way because I wanted this on the front. So I'll turn it over. Alright. Probably should have set that glue straight up, right? Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Pretty boring today, I know, guys. So. But, I figured... You know, I had my confidence up for a minute anyway. Then hit play, and it's like, oh, you're just crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay. Let's see if we can get some on here. Right, it's really hard. I think it somewhat has to do with my hands too. They're not the greatest, but I am having to put some force on this to get it to come out. So, sure, what's up with that? Okay, All right. Oops, come back. Okay, come back. My goodness, guys. Okay. It's going to be good enough as long as we don't have no huge blobs anywhere. Alright. So. out somewhat. Alright. It's gonna be pretty. Oh, love this fabric. Okay. Alright. Let's pick this out before I go glue in, why don't we? Ooh, that one. Yeah, that one. How do we want it to go, though? This way. Yeah. Okay, no. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh. That's not it. 
it, so I don't have to go this way. The only thing is, I was thinking about putting a pocket in here. It's going to cover all that up, so I guess it's um, really not. Sorry, let me see. So, email. From Carol at Carol's Recrafted Boutique. Let's see. Okay. I will get back with her. Alright, so I still think we're going to do this way. Maybe we won't do a pocket. Um, maybe we just won't do a pocket. Because I really love that. Um, uh, yeah, coffee dye on that. Grungy, grungy. So maybe we will put a pocket in the back. And not in the front. on here all right I think that's good Oops, come back, come back, come back, come back. Yeah, that's really getting to my hands now. So, I'll probably need to rest my hands. So, this is the last one we'll do like this. So, when I get this one on there, I will pause you guys, wait just a little bit, and give this time to dry, all three of them time to dry. And then I'll sew and cut off the excess try to get the edges frayed back when I do that and I'll come back and show you guys okay so here we go let's get that out of there all right so he said this way the bottom Let's do it like this. Get that bottom on there. And again, if there's wrinkles, I'm really not worried about that. Try to get that one out there squished down some, though. Don't want to pull it too tight but okay yeah I think that's good okay so we got that on there so that's good okay alright guys I'm liking it so I'm going to pause you guys let this dry do the sewing and I think that's too tight so yeah let me put just a little bit of glue on here maybe 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 she says
let it lay down on there. Okay, so that got that. Okay, so I'm going to wait and do that after. Alright guys, I'm going to put you guys on pause. Alright guys, I am back. So I didn't do um, any more, so I didn't do the next one. But I managed to make it around. Showing the cover and cutting around it as... Um, yeah, evenly as I could. So I'm going to leave it alone leave it alone so this is one cover and then this is our next cover and probably my favorite I think is this cover oh. Yeah, we may put something here, but I think we're going to have to leave the rest of that. And then there's the back. So, yeah, so that is three Tim Holtz journals done. Um, we just need to, uh, I guess, pick um, which one it is we want to start with, I guess. That way we'll know um, what papers and things. Because this one, I certainly think we can get away with some much... Um, brighter colors if you will with the oranges and the teal in there stuff really love those colors faint pieces of red in there um, sorry I forgot to put the lid on the glue like a dummy um, yeah we can certainly get away with love all that there I'm not sure what's happening here um, but it look like my glue wants to fit back there, so somehow I have uh, gotten things pushed over and out of whack. Okay, we got it. I guess that's going to have to do anyway. Um, so yeah, so there's our three covers to start. Awesome. Very excited about the way they came out. Um, yeah, of course, very stressful for me, but we got through it. And only, what, one or two covers more to go. Yay. Thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And thank you all. Thank you all for your support. I had to glance up because I wasn't sure that I hit resume. Okay, guys. Yeah. I lost my mind, so I need to go. Thank you all so much for your support. And we will see you next time when we start putting signatures together. Bye, guys.